to go in Lightroom, got into the develop mode, got all our pictures imported. Uh, I'm going to be using the loop deck primarily, just doing quick edits of these, a uh, few seconds, couple of minutes at most. Uh, if I really, really want to do a big edit on it, I'm going to take it in with the Wacom tablet into Photoshop later on. But just for something to give to um, to, to the shelters, they want as many usable pictures as, as possible and don't want to spend too much time on it. Uh, the loop deck's fantastic for, for rushing through that. One thing that I do find a little awkward is the export button on the uh, on the loop deck. A little bit fiddly, you press export and then you've got to go in and you've got to do some other stuff with it. So I've uh, I've hooked that up with my, my Shuttle Pro, I've just changed a couple of the buttons here because if you press export on the loop deck, you now have to export manually on uh, on the screen. I don't want to have to keep going back to uh, to my computer. I want I want to I don't want to touch it at all really. But I've got the export and the return button just here on these two buttons on my my Shuttle Pro, so I can I don't need to go to the screen at all. I'm sure there's a way of loading it into Loop Deck, but I've had a little a few problems. I've had, just had to uninstall the drivers and stuff because um, it's not compatible with the latest version of uh, of Lightroom for some reason. So let's uh, let's get into the edit. I'm just going to be clicking the arrows. It's going to be my main function just to start us off. That's a decent picture. Just up that exposure a little bit. So with the crop, I'm just going to crop in, crop that. I'm going to come up with the exposure just a touch, bring some of those shadows up just a touch, a little bit more saturation, vibrancy. I tend to go for more than saturation. To be honest, well, uh, um, I'm going to bring the dehazer down. I'll just zoom in here. If you just look at that, if I'm, I just want to take a little bit. There's a, a lot of hair definition in there. I just want to take a little bit of that off. I will sharpen it up a touch. I like to use masking. I like to be quite heavy on the masking. Then I. Uh, Let's take some of those blacks up just a little bit to get a bit more detail on the nose there. And again, now I could zoom in and I, I could mask areas out that I, I want to pick up, but I'm not too fussed. I'll put a little bit of a vignette. I like a vignette. I know some people don't like the vignette on there. I'm going to remove any chromatic and I'm going to put the, the lens on there. I'm going to go back down with those blacks. I've taken too much on it on the blacks. A little bit, a little bit more vibrancy. I think for just a, a, a quick edit, that's all say. So I'm just going to copy those settings because I know that I've got quite a lot of the same light. So I'll just copy those settings. Just going to quickly flick through these. The whites, the highlights are a little bit bright on that now. Well, let's up that vibrancy. There we go. Up those blacks just a touch. Down with the exposure. Yeah. Let's get rid of this. Don't need that. A little bit bigger on the dog. I don't mind that. Just cropping a little bit. Bring that crop into here. I think this will be a nice shot. I might come back to this shot later on. You see, I'm, I'm working very nicely between the three. Uh, I'm using the pen on the Wacom quite a lot. My left hand's over here on the uh, on the Shuttle Pro. I've never really used the Shuttle Pro before, but I, I do like it. It's, uh, for photo editing, I'm, I think I'm going to start using it a lot more. It's a nice shot. 
let's just export it I'll copy those settings because I like those now shot that's quite a nice shot nice and sharp I think that would be one that I would be tempted to go back to coming a bit tighter Too much blue in that actually now that I'm looking at it. I'll put the blue back in later in Photoshop, I think. Just move it up with the exposure there. It's a nice shot.